Hey guys, it's Ryan McRobb here. I'm going to show you the best way of putting together a time lapse in Sony Vegas Pro. Let's get straight to it. So I'm imagining you've already shot your uh, footage using a DSLR camera. And this is not the way where you uh, use real time footage and speed it up. That's all well and good, but the best way is just use a DSLR and shoot individual frames and import Import it into Vegas like this. You go to the file menu, drop down to the import menu, and then into media. So file, import, media. Here we go. Now navigate to your folder, which you have hopefully already created with your stills, time-lapse stills. Now, so here's mine. Um, click on the first image of the sequence, which may not necessarily be the first image of the folder. In my case, it's the second, because I, I changed my frame around uh, in camera. So this is the first one here and drop down to this button here, open sequence. Okay, so it'll open a sequence from the first one, 8716 to the final one, 9147. Okay, so note that's a roughly 400 or so images. Now at 25 frames a second, my mathematics tells me that's about 16 seconds or thereabouts. So anyway, let's find out, see if I'm right. I'll go to okay, open, um, all this stuff, you can just totally ignore unless if you're a professional you know what this means you can change it if not there's absolutely no need the only thing you may want to consider changing is your frame rate now this will change how fast or how slow your time lapse goes um, so my project is going to be in 25 frames a second so I'm happy to leave it at uh, 25 there but you can change it to whatever you want and you can also customize you don't need to use one of these preset settings now field order if you're on the internet, you just leave it as progressive. But if you're doing an interlaced project, maybe consider one of one of these two options, which you will already know. Um, and that's it. You just go to OK in there. It's just a metadata channel, so which is not relevant. Go to OK, and boom, up here in our project media tab is our time lapse sequence. Let's put it on the on the uh, timeline. And there we have it. I think I was about, right, 17 seconds. So I was one second off. So it goes for that long. Now we can play it. And there we go. And that's my time-lapse sequence all done. All right. So I press escape to get out of that. Um, cool. So from here, whoops, from here, um, what I'll do is I just need to do one quick tweak. Now, if you look closely at the project here, you'll see it's 2784 times 1856. Now, off the top of my head, I think that's the camera's medium JPEG mode. I could be wrong or something like that. Either way, there's a lot more pixels than a uh, full HD video project. So I probably can just cut that down to a 1080p project. So click in my properties, change it to one of the 1080p ones there. 920 by 1080p, field order, I'll keep it progressive, and otherwise it's all fine, apply. Okay, but because it's a 169 aspect, you get some black bars either side, which looks bad. So what we'll do is we'll right click on the event on the timeline, video event pan crop, make sure that's off, click on the keyframe, right click, match output aspect. Now, I'm losing a bit of stars at the top there, so I'll just use the up arrow on my typing keyboard to move up the frame a bit to get a few more stars and a few less sort of dark branchy bits down here. All right, that's all done, cool. And that's it, all done. So that's how to quickly import a time-lapse into Sony Vegas Pro. Any questions, please ask in the comments. I hope you enjoy, thanks.